Hello, I'm Rebecca, a real Korean woman living in Korea. Today, we are going to find out 9 mistakes that will ruin your trip to Korea. It's full of fruitful and substantial information about Korea. So, please watch this video until the end. American novelist Henry Miller said this, One's destination is never a place, but a new way of seeing things. Main point of today is about this new view. Mistakes made in travel destination are usually simple. The basic reason of these mistakes is you do not understand the culture of the destination. Today, I will show you some mistakes you can commonly and frequently make in Korea. It happens because you don't understand Korean culture, a new perspective on Korea. Are you ready? There is something that makes many tourists surprised when they come to Korea. It is Korean public transportation system. It is complex, but elaborate public transport route and clean and well-maintained facilities of buses and subways. However, there are some mistakes travelers can make when using public transportation. The first mistake that ruins your precious trip to Korea. Korea's public transportation hate cash. You may ask, who hate cash in the world? But public transportation in Korea really hate cash. When you use subways and buses in Korea, I strongly recommend you to pay with a transportation card rather than cash. Cash payment procedure for buses and subways are very difficult and demanding. Even I am a local, but the cash payment process is sometimes confusing. It is more likely for travelers. Then, at this point, you will say, how can I use the bus and subway? The solution is simple. There are so many convenience doors which open around the clock. In Korea, you can find one or two in every 100 meters. For example, if you see GS Ichibo, CU, etc., you just visit there and buy a transportation card, and then return the card with cash. In case you use all the money in the card, you just go back to the convenience store and pay cash to recharge your transportation card. But there's another much simpler way rather than going to a convenience store, buying a transportation card, and recharging it. If your phone has an NFC function, you don't have to go to the convenience store. Nowadays, most smartphones have NFC functions. Access the Google Store or Apple Store, download the T-Money app, and charge your transportation fee with your credit card in advance. If you use public transportation with cash, you can be in trouble. Please use this transportation card. The second mistake that ruins your precious trip to Korea. If you take the subway or bus, you'd better not sit down as soon as you find the empty seat. There are seats reserved for the elderly and pregnant women on subways and buses in Korea. The seats are only for the elderly, children, and the disabled. Seats for pregnant women are literally only for pregnant women or women who have just had children. Korea has a culture of protecting the elderly and pregnant women throughout society. Most Koreans do not sit in seats for the elderly and pregnant women and these seats are left vacant even when there are no older passengers and pregnant women nearby. If you accidentally sit in the seat for the elderly and pregnant women, you will get a lot of attention because you would be disrespectful to seniors. When using public transportation in Korea, please check a clear sign that indicates where these seats are located. The third mistake that ruins your precious trip to Korea. If you are traveling by bus in Seoul, you must tell the bus drivers that you are getting off by pressing the bell inside the bus before arriving at your stop. In the case of city bus, it is common not to open the door and just to pass your stop unless you ring the bell. This is the bell. Some of you might have thought this way. Where can I find this bell? But you don't need to worry about it. There are more than 10 bells attached to the bus. They are located in every seat or near the hand straps. When you want to transfer to another means of transportation, you should touch the transportation card to the card reader next to the exit gate 
before you get off the bus. When you do this, you can save much money on transportation. It is because you will get a huge discount on transportation cost just by touching the transportation card to the card reader. I will deal with more details in my next content about public transportation in Korea. The first mistake then ruins your precious trip to Korea. After looking around tourist attractions by using public transportation, you try to find a restaurant. Many travelers make mistakes here. When you enter a restaurant, don't ask for guidance from the staff. You'd think that it is natural for guests to be guided by the restaurant staff. What I mean is, you do not just wait until the waiter or waitress shows you the seat. In countries such as Australia, it takes for granted for restaurant staff to assure customers to their seat. But in Korea, it is rare. Most restaurants in Korea do not guide the patrons to sit. Instead, you just sit wherever you like to sit. You don't need to think they ignore you or each racism because no one shows you into the seat. Actually, there is no discrimination between Koreans and foreigners almost all of Korean restaurants. Even Korean people do not receive any assuring service in Korean restaurants anyway. It's just the same. Don't wait and find a good seat. The fifth mistake then ruins your precious trip to Korea. Please don't be at a loss what to do when ordering at a restaurant. Many tourists are embarrassed in Korean restaurants. It is because no one shoots them into the seat and they do not come to you to take orders. Travelers are bewildered and just look at the restaurant staff to order. Please do not misunderstand Korean restaurant workers ignore you. Don't be embarrassed. Many restaurants in Korea have bells on the table. You can call an employee just by pressing the bell. Korean restaurant workers don't rush you to take order quickly. Take some time to look at the menu and then ring the bell to call the staff, and you can order. Most restaurants in Korea serve basic side dishes free of charge. They are included in the main menu ordered by customers. Kimchi, then you know well, is one of the basic side dishes. Let's look at the picture. There are side dishes beside the main menu. In addition, side dishes can be refilled almost indefinitely. Like this, Korean restaurants have many strong points. The six mistakes that ruins your precious trip to Korea. You don't have to give tips anywhere in Korea, not just in restaurants. Many people coming to Korea agonize how much tips they should give. If you give tips to the staff at the restaurant, they will look at you strangely. Most restaurant workers will kindly refuse to receive tips. There is no tip culture in Korea. So, don't worry about tips. The seventh mistake then ruins your precious trip to Korea. If you are invited to a Korean family, do not wear shoes when you enter the house. In Korea, people don't wear shoes inside the house. This is because of ondo culture. Ondo is a heating method that warms the entire floor. That's why Korean people don't feel the need to wear shoes in a warm room. Moreover, since the floor is warm, we just sit down on the floor. If you are invited to a Korean family, take off your shoes and go inside. Also, at some Korean restaurant, you also have to take off your shoes and go in. Taking this into consideration, if there is an ondo and other Koreans take off their shoes, you just follow it. The eighth mistake that ruins your press trip to Korea. You should not go empty-handed when you are invited to a Korean family. Usually, Korean culture gives a small gift according to each person's circumstance when invited to another person's family. You don't have to give an expensive gift, but at least a small one is fine. Many Koreans usually buy fruit when they visit other people's homes. For example, a bag of tangerine which are not expensive is fine. When you give a small gift, considering on sincerity of the family that invites you, the Korean family will be happy with your caring and thoughtfulness. Lastly, the nice mistakes that ruins your precious trip to Korea. 
Korean culture does not call the other person's name carelessly and recklessly. Many tourists make mistakes in calling the other person's name in Korean restaurants, tourist attractions, accommodations, and everywhere they meet Koreans. Koreans want to be called by honorifics rather than names. For example, an old woman runs a restaurant. The old woman's name is Sunja. But one day, foreign tourists come and call the name Sunja to the old woman who owns the restaurant. No matter how friendly you are, the old woman who is a restaurant owner will feel bad because she thinks she is not respected. Then, how should you call the restaurant owner in this case? Instead of the name, you just call her 사장님, which means the boss. For some restaurant employee, you'd better to call this title, such as 사장님, which means the boss, 선생님, which means a teacher, or 이모, which means an aunt, rather than call them their name, even though they are not your actual teacher or aunt. It's friendly and convey your intention of respecting them. In this regard, we are planning to produce more content. So, please care for and love Orin Korea. Your subscription and alarm settings are love. So far, we will look at 9 mistakes that can ruin your trip to Korea. I will organize it again quickly. First, don't try to pay in cash when using public transportation in Korea. Just buy a transportation card in Korea and use it. Second, when using public transportation in Korea, do not sit in the seat for the elderly and pregnant women. Korea has a culture of consideration for the weak. Third, in the case of buses, make sure to ring the bell when you get off and let the bus drivers know in advance that you will get off at this stop. First, when you enter a Korean restaurant, don't wait for the staff to show you to your seat. Look and find a seat that is comfortable for you. Fifth, don't wait for the staff to come to you to take an order. Before ordering, you can take some time to check the menu comfortably. Once you decide on the menu, ring the bell on the table and call the staff to place an order. Six, you don't need to give tips in almost all restaurant, tourist attraction, and public transportation. Don't worry about tips in Korea. Seventh, when you are invited to a Korean family, you have to take off your shoes and go inside. Eighth, please prepare a small gift when invited to a Korean family. Ninth, and restaurant, tourist attraction, shops, etc. in Korea do not call steps name. Instead, it is better to use respectful titles. Saying in Korean, 사장님, 선생님, or 이모, which is especially at a restaurant, is friendly and conveys your respect to them. There are some mistakes that many people make when they come on a trip. But when you come to think of it, it's not a big problem. When you respect and understand each other's culture, I'm sure our trip will be happy and delightful. In such a joyful mind, there will also be a new discoveries that you haven't seen. I pray spring will always be here, where I am, where you are, and where many people traveling to Korea are. The following is a line from a Korean movie slow video. It's not spring at all, but it smells like flowers. It's spring not because the flowers bloom, but because you come to me. Or in Korea will be with you until you feel Korea like warm spring. Subscription and alarm settings are love. Please press like as well. This is Rebecca, a real and true Korean woman. That's it.